The stress shape and stress block coefficients were derived based on testing done by Hognestad, Rush, and Maddock. Um, one of the specimens that they looked at was uh, similar to what's shown in the top um, left, where we have kind of a, a concrete U section where they applied a tension force and isolated the compression block by only providing concrete um, in the compression region. Uh, with several sensors, um, strain gauges across the depth, they were able to measure the uh, stress block shape. Um, and from this, we're able to find the uh, area um, and some of the coefficients that we looked at in previous videos. Um, so you can see some of the results of the testing here on the right side. Uh, first for um, K1 times K3. And you can see that for uh, K1 times K3, you can see that the uh, stress values um, depend on the concrete strength. Uh, so for higher strengths, we have um, lower K1 times K3 values. Uh, they also measured um, K2, which was the uh, distance to our centroid, and I found it also varies with strength. Um, as shown uh, here in, in this figure. Um, and then finally they uh, measured uh, different values for the ultimate strains and came up with the um, ultimate strain value that we use for ACI of 0 0.003. Um, so you can see that they proposed a stress block where um, KD is the distance to our neutral axis, uh, K3 times F prime C is the height of our equivalent stress block and uh, beta 1 is the width of our equivalent or beta 1 times c is the uh, width of our equivalent stress block. Um, so they found k1 to be dependent on our total compression forces and also a factor of uh, k3 and, and the depth of our um, neutral axis. k2 is beta 1 over 2 which is our code value and then K3 was uh, 0.85. Um, so these are the values that uh, we use in, in ACI and, and we'll use in, in future examples.